evening uh, the, so to the last part of the uh, the meniscus uh, repair techniques uh, that's a disclaimer uh, 48 year old female uh, that's a patient from uh, uh, a different state uh, twisting injury to the knee joint uh, while going down stairs it's a three week old injury there is a fusion medial joint line tenderness and there is a fullness in the uh, medial joint line and uh, magma test is uh, painful for her that's the x-ray, uh, much uh, unremarkable. The alignment x-rays I couldn't uh, get hold of, they were, they were normal, uh, there was no limb alignment, uh, uh, alignment issue. Uh, that's the coronal image. You can see a minor cartilage defect there and uh, you can see the, uh, the posterior root area is uh, deficient on the medial side. That's the ghost meniscus sign, the PCL, the ACL and the lateral side. And uh, the axials you can uh, identify the, the extrusion of the medial meniscus and uh, uh, the cartilage is relatively good and the alignment is okay and you can see the, the lesions on the uh, three views, the coronal, the, the sag, the ghost meniscus and the transection of the posterior uh, root of the medial meniscus there. So the meniscus root, uh, uh, the, the anterior and posterior attachments, uh, it, it keeps the hoop tension of the, uh, the meniscus on and is the last few millimeters of the meniscus angling down to the tibial uh, plateau attachment in the condylar notch. And uh, that's the uh, uh, root, they act as anchors and they have to be pulled in like we saw the uh, meniscus transplant today. The attachment at the root area is the most uh, important and uh, meticulously to be passed. The hoop stress is transmitted out through the, uh, uh, the, uh, the meniscus and the root are important. I, I, the an analogy is like a parachute. So you cut one side, it just opens up. So that uh, uh, root is uh, important, although it may be missed, like uh, we had the keynote lecture from Dr. Uh, Dinshaw today. Um, th the, the, these are the, the classifications, the laparate classifications of the uh, root. Um, uh, the posterior horns, the medial and lateral meniscus, they transmit more load than the anterior horn. They uh, get torn much earlier. They are seen uh, in uh, 10 to 20 percent, so that's a good number and more in uh, increased BMI, decreased sports level activities, uh, be, be careful. Uh, it's like total meniscectomy as we all know, uh, whereas limb alignment may be seen due to the, the decreased uh, uh, presence of the medial meniscus on the middle side. And you have the seal test, it's a varal stress test where you can see the meniscus uh, uh, jumping out due to the lost uh, um, uh, hoop tension. The coronal image, you can see the uh, extrusion of the meniscus, more than three millimeters in mid-coronal image uh, is uh, significant. And that's a ghost meniscus sign as we already saw. Uh, on the axial image also, you can identify the, the ramp lesion uh, there, uh, the, 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 the root lesion there. And those are the classifications of uh, root uh, tears, uh, which we've already seen in the daytime. So uh, acute traumatic layer, uh, uh, tears with good cartilage, uh, we think about repairs, but then be careful in uh, grade three, four, Calgary and Lauren, uh, Lawrence, uh, don't try to repair unless uh, you have alignment also corrected. And uh, uh, the root, when it's resected, it, in, it leads to more wear. Uh, and uh, the repaired uh, uh, group of people, uh, they showed uh, better, better results. The methods, you can use either an anchor there or you can use the transosseous repair, either a single tunnel or uh, the two tunnels. Uh, uh, you can use either use Mason Allen stitches or the pull through stitches as we are, we've already seen. So that's how the stitches are placed with the indirect suture passing device or the, um, um, the first, first pass mini is an extra excellent instrument or the NOVA stitches uh, which has been demonstrated now. Uh, the bone tunnel has to be in an atypical location and uh, those are the pull through sutures which are uh, placed uh, to keep the, um, the root in place. So that's the video, uh, the medial meniscus posterior root, you can see the, it is detached uh, from the medial side, the, the cartilage is good uh, on the femoral as well as uh, the tibial sides. Uh, that's a uh, ACL jig being used to uh, drill a bead pin uh, into the uh, region of the root attachment or drilled with a 4.5 mm um, uh, drill bit, uh, cannulated, and uh, stitches being taken with a direct uh, suture passing device. Uh, I use a cinch uh, sutures, uh, two of them, with number zero. You use two zero for the meniscus repairs in the body and the anterior horn, and number zero for the, the root repairs, which are slightly stronger. And that is shuttled using uh, uh, PDS or epilon sutures, 
uh, nylon sutures from uh, the transtibial uh, drill hole and the root uh, can be uh, repaired down onto an endo button placed onto the anterior uh, medial tibia. Those are since sutures being shuttled down and uh, uh, the, the, the hoop tension has been recreated. You can see the uh, tension recreated when you pull the sutures into the tibia. And uh, that's the end of button over which the root is repaired. You have to tension uh, adequately. The tensioning is done at a 20 degree flexion. And uh, you can see the tension uh, on the meniscus has been recreated. Uh, those are the images. And uh, there's another patient with uh, lateral meniscus posterior root tear. You can see it's detached. He was a 30 year old man with uh, good cartilage on the lateral side. And uh, similar uh, method has been used. And here we use an indirect suture passing device. There's a meniscus root being uh, uh, reduced to its uh, location. And uh, the area of attachment being cleared of cartilage using a rotary bar. You can use a high uh, um, anteromedial portal to, to reach that area, maneuvering the intercondylar eminence and uh, the meniscus being brought into its uh, position. And uh, sutures being taken again with uh, uh, that's uh, uh, ACL jig again, which I use now. Uh, uh, I didn't have the, uh, the low profile uh, jig. That is the anchor method. Uh, where you can uh, use a, a high posterior medial portal to uh, insert uh, an anchor and a repair can be directly done. But then the pull-through method has the best uh, uh, stability. So the challenge is uh, a tight space of the knee joint. You can use a pike resting when required. Suture management is important. And drilling of two parallel uh, jigs uh, in the double tunnel method is also good. You can tie over a bony bridge. And maintaining correct tension in meniscus root uh, during the repair is important. So that's the post-operative x-ray of the patient. And that's an MRI which was is, which is done after six months. And you can see the meniscus extrusion has uh, vanished and uh, the root is adequately in its position. Uh, that was a, a rehab, uh, a six weeks uh, non-weight bearing, uh, logged in extension while walking from six to 12 weeks. And uh, discontinued with the crutches and braces and full range of motion was given at uh, uh, 12 and uh, bicycle and propulsive ex ex uh, exercises started. Normal gait after four months, sports uh, about nine months. Uh, take home, tear of the posterior root of the medial meniscus leads to meniscus extrusion and increased uh, tibia femoral load and progression of arthritis. So uh, think about it as an important lesion and uh, think about um, uh, repairing it. Partial meniscectomy can cause progression of arthritis. So a uh, root uh, uh, acts as a total meniscectomy and it has to be addressed well. In selected patient, uh, meniscus root repair uh, shows high healing rate and can halt or delay uh, progression of arthritis. And repair um, uh, outcomes, uh, uh, m m uh, when you resect it, the outcomes are like partial meniscectomy or total meniscectomy. Thank you. Mm -hmm.